Hello, I'm James Nash, a writer and poet based in Leeds. By my side, I've got a whole collection of um, poetry books and publications that I've got poems in and stories in, some whole collections. And they go back for 23 years of writing and getting published and publishing for myself. Um, and they're there not as a kind of showing off, but more as a kind of um, a history, a journey, um, a way of I found over the last 23 years of writing about myself. And then it came to this collection, um, Bench Willie really Holiday, which was published in um, 2018. And everything took a slightly different turn um, because I was actually writing about things that have actually happened in my life in a sort of very much more autobiographical kind of way. The whole coming out process for me was complicated anyway, and I didn't finally come out until I was 41 um, in about 1990, 1991. Um, so it's um, been an interesting um, and ever-changing process. So looking back as I did in this collection, to me, as a young man of 19, 20, nearly 21 actually, um, being given aversion therapy, um, electric shock treatment um, in a Hampstead clinic um, and writing about that for the first time was interesting. And then the other poem I'm going to read from this collection, which is the whole business of coming out as an old man. Um, let's be fair, that's all I can say. I was born in 1949. Um, recently had my 71st birthday. So there's something about the honesty of being where I am now, about bringing things into the light, of revealing things, of coming out in other ways um, that I want to share with you in these two poems. So the first one is called Shock Absorber and it's dated Shock Absorber 1969. Small room in a clinic projector, screen, a single chair, electrodes on my arm. She stands, I sit and sweat. I'm in this scene. Her uniform creaks as she does me harm. The pictures come as I click them on. Men from knitting pattern world, women too. Men bring shock and pain, women none. Crude. I had no faith in what it could do. And no one said, how about if you tried being yourself? It could all work out fine. Instead, I was zapped. My feelings were fried. I was 20 in 1969. The treatment had unexpected results, a lasting aversion to cable knits. And then um, the final poem um, in this collection, based um, around a place, a favourite place, South Landing in Flamborough on the east coast of Yorkshire. Um, and um, the whole collection was about benches. And this is probably my favourite bench in the whole collection. Though this may be my last bench, it will do, up against the cliff and looking out to sea. I sit, a sight of dog and husband too, something I never thought could be. While I am here, I cannot come to harm. I've learned the present is a welcome state. A flower vase hangs off one wooden arm and my back warms a brass inscription plate. I thought I'd lost the sea, the wading birds, the sweep of sand and rocks, a sense of awe. But they returned, and I have found the words, and with increasing age it all means more. This may be my last bench, and it will do to sit and watch, to write, at last speak true. Thank you.